Michael Konoposik is on the scene now near Superior. Let's get straight to him. And Michael, uh, it is a, a ominous, smoky background behind you there. Yeah, it is a mess out here and very concerning situation. We are just west of Flatiron Crossing Mall, and you can see the smoke in the air above what would typically be, if you're familiar with this area, you would be looking out at civilization, people living out this way. So it's a very concerning situation with the evacuations currently in place as we kind of pan around here. And what I'm going to have photographer Jonathan France do for us is as he continues to pan around to show the traffic jam that we have here uh, wh where you're looking. This is actually rock. Creek Parkway. We're specifically at Honey Creek Lane and Rock Creek Parkway just west of the mall and this traffic is going nowhere and we can only presume that this is because of evacuations. We have been hearing sirens in the distance since we arrived here and we uh, see some more emergency crews coming this way now. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, but they have been going into neighborhoods in a hurry uh, and we do know that people have been told uh, to leave in certain areas and so that, that's what's happening right here because they just don't know what this wind, what this fire is going to do. It's a, it is a very scary situation. So, kind of obviously, these are fire crews headed your way. Let's take a close look and see where they're coming from and exactly where they're headed. We know multiple jurisdictions responding right here too. And uh, can you tell what agency that is? Is that North Metro? That's North Metro, yes, North Metro, and they're heading uh, they're heading toward 36, Jeremy, just to give you a vantage point, heading northbound. Yeah. Erica Gonzalez is joining here in studio now, too, Erica. Yeah, Michael, I just wanted to ask you really quickly. I mean, we can hear from your live shot uh, just how strong those winds are. Can you kind of walk us through what you're feeling out there since you've been out there over the last few minutes? Yes. As soon as we got out of our vehicle, it was extremely difficult to open the door. And to shut the door, the wind is now really picking up. And you can just see it. If I, and I just turn my head for just a second, and it gets right in your eyes. Um, it, 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 it's difficult to open the doors, close the doors. It's difficult to breathe if you're in a big sn uh, smoke plume. Uh, and at one point now, it just died down. Now it's not too bad. But it, it, at some points when you're driving on uh, 36, for instance, you just see those light poles moving. I mean, a lot, really, back and forth.